I've been playing a ton of Among Us recently, but I've been doing pretty bad. Oh, that's weird. That's weird, right? That I was good when I said I was good, Kevin, and then the bad guys won like I said they would. Isn't that weird? That normally doesn't happen. That normally doesn't happen, Kevin. Like, it's not my normal rookie mistakes. Like, announcing when me and my fellow imposter are in medbay, when we're asked in an emergency meeting, when we were probably clearly seeing vent from electrical on admin. I'm still making those mistakes, but that's not my main issue. My main issue is I'm just getting destroyed by the insane amount of information people are bringing to emergency meetings. Like past votes of players, early accusations before deaths, and a whole bunch of other details that become more and more critical as the game progresses, I just can't keep up. But then I learned why. Our games have been under attack. By people that take notes. Now. The Among Us scribes are not the worst people in the game. That award goes to people that don't even try to finish their tasks once they're dead. But for perspective, they're still worse than the goblins that just sit on security cameras most of the game. You know who you are. But these note takers are still pretty annoying. I was of the opinion that deciding what you should and shouldn't mentally carry in your memory through the course of a game is a key skill that should be crafted to get better at Among Us. Having good notes is an advantage, but you can't stop these people from taking notes. But I'm also not gonna lose, so I built an app to do it better. The plan for this little app was to create a place that allows me to record data about the players I'm playing with and nicely presents the data back to me when it's needed without actually having to type notes. But why did this need an app? First, it's a goal of mine to present fun and interesting ways to use engineering and tech to augment daily life and hopefully provide inspiration to others that you too can build your own personal, selfish, shitty, one-purpose apps. But most importantly, I built this app because playing video games while taking notes is boring and it fucking sucks. Okay, before we get to me actually showing you the thing I built, the success I actually had using it and how you also can use it, I'm contemplating if I need to explain what Among Us is because it's utterly massive right now. But for the few of you that don't know, it's a social deduction game where two teams either try to lie and kill your friends or you're on a team that has to do menial tasks and find the liars. The most popular house rules is most of the game everyone's mic is muted except for during emergency meetings that can be triggered various different ways. That's where everyone argues it out. And the further a game around progresses, having information to determine who is lying can be critical. And that's how you get these note takers doing their thing over in the corner, click clacking away as everything happens. Having data on who found bodies, who voted for who, who accused someone else right before they turned up dead is all super helpful. Unfortunately, I don't fully know what these note takers are taking notes on, mostly because note taking is turned into a super contentious issue in the groups I game in. No one, and I repeat, no one wants to talk about it anymore. And I can't talk what it's like about me taking notes because it just feels like a job. And between typing what's going on, doing the tasks, talking during meetings and trying not to die, I'm just really bad at taking notes. So that's where my app comes in. It lets me recreate a visual roster of the people I'm playing with and record quick bits of info as they happen with just a few clicks. For example, when people are accused by another player, when they're voted off and who voted them off when people die and who found the body. In early iterations, I focused on allowing myself to still type notes out, and I could assign those notes different colors based on how bad the note was or how damning it was. But this game is still too quick for me to actually type much out. Much of this has been converted into quick access buttons for most of the things I was typing, like this person's walking weird, they did a task weird, or they're following someone around. And I also allowed good notes, they seemed to be doing tasks they were vouched for, etc. Also, I found I didn't actually need four different colored labels. First, I never took defaults or normal notes. Notes were either bad or good. And I also found that if notes were really bad, I didn't actually want to take a note about that. I just wanted to call an emergency meeting and try to vote them out, not take my time to take a note. So I also removed bad notes. Basically, notes were either sus, that's suspect, I can't believe I just explained what sus is, or they're good. That's the two different types of notes. I still allow a user to type in the input box an actual note, but the main focus here is these click buttons. So like I promised a few seconds on how I actually built this. I used a tool called Electron, which is a framework that allows you to essentially run a web application as a desktop application. This is a super popular tool. Discord, Slack, WhatsApp, Streamlabs, OBS, all use it to run their desktop apps. This allows me to pick up easily in the future and convert it to a web app if I choose. And that's what I did to share it with all of you. 
And in Electron, I use the JavaScript framework called Vue.js, mostly because it's easy and I'm really bad at JavaScript. Oh yeah, and I also use Bootstrap. It's a Twitter-built front-end library responsible for why every single modern web page looks the same. Thanks, Twitter. But I guess that's the tools I use, not really how I built it. So here's the code, I guess? I don't really know the balance here. On a technical level, this is super boring web app, and there's real tutorials out there if you just search the tools that I used. But this is a tech-focused channel, so I will show you this. This is probably a few things that I did that I should be made fun of for. Getting an error saying null.png not found? Why not create a file called null.png? Don't fully understand CSS inheritance and view? Don't learn it, just copy and paste the same code into all the components until it looks right. Actually, on that note, you don't even need to understand passing objects correctly in JavaScript. Just create separate functions for each little different thing that you need to do. I'm of the opinion you just gotta build something, and I wanna be an example of that. I think it's way cooler to be able to complete something where you can share it with your friends and family versus getting the perfect level of abstraction. But I'm sure there's at least one of you that's gonna wanna disagree with me, so let me know in the comments and we can find it out there. But back to the game. I used this in some iterations with some friends, but I mostly used it with random groups of people to truly understand its power. And its power is pretty great. Being able to trace the social dynamics and flow of a game is amazing. Overall, it came down to it gave me the information when it mattered in a lot of those final rounds. And I found an interesting theme. Generally, when the person had the most accusations, they were probably bad. And the people that accuse bad people are probably good? I know, killer insight. But dissecting the overall game meta flow turned out to be more simple than I thought, and I adapted my app around this concept of accusations. And this turned out pretty well for me. Now, being able to reference earlier actions with such precision like votes and accusations almost feels like cheating. And that actually did turn out to be a problem. I started this video ragging on the note takers and to be clear, this makes me and others that use this app no better than them. I seriously contemplated scrapping this project completely because I don't want to ruin the game that I'm really enjoying. But I think this democratizes the amount of info that players can gather to not only those people that have 100 word per minute typing speed. So yeah, I'll still release it. So I didn't actually link this web address down below because I have two caveats. First, I originally built this for myself. Consider it pre-pre-alpha. I want to fix the main bugs that I can, but understand that I'm not going to be adding a whole bunch of features to this. Second, I think is more important, understand when and why you're using this. I personally really don't use this with my core group of friends because at the end of the day, it's a fun, stupid game. I built this to defend myself against note takers and I only really use it as much. Well, that's not fully true. Sometimes I do like to crush some randoms in a public game. 